everybody. This is Chris from the Bug Out Bad Guide. I'm here today with Roman and Fabian of Ready to Go Survival. We're coming to you from Five Points in Queens, New York, and we're here to share with you a project we've been working on the last few months. We call this the Ultimate Urban Survival Kit. We've been hard at work putting our heads together, and we're excited to share it with you today. So tell me a little bit about Ready to Go Survival. Back in 2012, right after Hurricane Sandy happened, uh, Fabian and I did recognize that the city was highly unprepared and we decided to put our skills together. Uh, me being a, a former EMT, Fabian an emergency disaster responder with the Red Cross, and let's create a comprehensive, practical, uh, and yet realistic survival kit uh, that somebody could use in case of emergency, uh, if something were to happen in their neighborhood, any type of flood or a disaster or, God forbid, terrorist attack or anything else. Um, it covers many bases. So what do you focus on with the bags that you make? We specialize in uh, customizable survival kits and uh, we concentrate on providing the highest quality field tested gear possible to ensure our customers get the best value for the most comprehensive kit available. So when we were developing this bag, we performed extensive testing of every item inside to make sure that it's a practical, realistic solution to urban survival. And right now we're going to show you what we came up with. So first, let's start off with the actual bag. It is from Rothko, it's made out of 900 denier polyester fabric. It's got ample room in it, so it fits all the tusk items, along with your personal items, such as cash, clothing, and documents. And it's got a very thin profile, so when you're on the move, it won't get snagged up. Here we have the food and water section of the tusk bag. Uh, we've developed this four item system to have everything that you need, uh, hydration and fuel wise, to keep yourself going under hard use conditions. Uh, it's centered around the 70 ounce mil spec antidote reservoir from Camelback. Um, Camelbacks are awesome, it distributes the weight well uh, and it carries a ton of water. Uh, we've core flock tablets so that you can scavenge water on the way without getting sick. We have this water bottle that enables you to boil water if you're running a core flock and then rations to keep you fueled. This is a 2400 calorie ration pack um, that will give you enough energy to keep moving as you need to. All right, now for the first aid items. I'm gonna start off with the ThyroSafe potassium iodide tablets. It's great for blocking your thyroid in radioactive conditions. And we also have the lightweight first aid kit that has all the essentials you need uh, for light to medium trauma. That includes gauze, bandages, and other medications as well. Here we have our fire component of the Tusk bag. Uh, we have two lighters here, which should last you more than a month in addition to the stormproof matches. These things are nearly indestructible once you light them. Just keep going. Water. Just keep going. Cover all your basic fire needs. All right, now for the tool. Start off the multi-tool. It's got everything you need over here. It's very lightweight, very compact, very useful. It's got a plier, knife, Scissor, screwdrivers, good for all types of stuff around the house. Nebo Redline flashlight, 220 lumens. And then the steel detachable eating utensil. Open it up. You got a knife, fork, and a spoon. Here we have the shelter components of the Ultimate Urban Survival Kit, the tusk bag that we've developed. Uh, these are designed to work together to keep you warm and dry while you're on the move. Uh, we have our emergency blanket that will obviously keep you warm as well as can be used for signaling. We have our tube tent for an instant up shelter. We have a poncho to keep you dry, which can also be worn over the actual tusk bag itself while you're wearing it. And then we have our duct tape, 10 zip ties, and 100 feet of power cord that can be used to repair gear, can be used to build a shelter out of scavenged materials, um, and just keep you moving as you, as you go. Now for self-protection and breaching. We have the SPAX tool, it has a gas main tool on here, a fire hydrant tool, a breaking and entering pry bar, and chopping abilities. And this is Smith & Wesson Tactical Ops Knife. It's got a glass breaker, seatbelt cutter, and a serrated edge. It can be folded easily and put away into your pocket. Here we have the environmental protection components of the Ultimate Urban Survival Kit that we've developed. 
First here we have our N95 rated masks to protect you against any airborne particles. We have our Mechanics Mil Specs gloves to protect your hands if you have to clear debris, glass, rebar, keep you going. We have our earplugs to keep your ears sound. And then lastly, the U of X goggles to protect your eyes from any flying materials. Uh, so all this is basically put together so that you can keep moving without getting an injury uh, while you're bugging out. All right, so now for the communication items. Uh, just to start off, we have a storm whistle over here. Great for signaling. If you gotta contact somebody across town, blow into this thing, it's really loud. <laughs> then we have the Duracell batteries. Uh, these are good for the flashlight, and you could also use them for barter, just in case you have some other gear. And then the FRX2 Eton radio. This thing's great. It's got solar capabilities. It's got a crank, and you can also charge any smartphone with it, including iPhone and Android. Uh, and listen in on NOAA uh, broadcast to, to see what the government's up to, or uh, just get a general idea of what's going on around you in an emergency situation.